Kick it, come in the ass. No. Hey, folks, I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art, and this is my wife, Sharon. Hello. We're the collecting couple, and brrr, it's cold outside. Sharon, Where? hand me some gloves. I need some it's gloves. It's cold out here. Yeah. There, there must, must be, be some torals in, in the atmosphere. Oh. Hand me some gloves, would you? Oh, sure. No, just give me this chair. All right. <laughs> and welcome to the diversity. I like to call it the diversity because we are... Diving into diversity. The most diverse collectibles dealers in the country. Yeah. I think so. Who, who's more diverse than us? As a... As a... Ma and Pa organization. <laughs> so anyway, these are the gloves I'm wearing. And if the glove fits... Wait a minute. No, the glove fits. You must. You, you did it. You must be You're guilty. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is some sports stuff I got. It's a funny. It's kind of a funny story. If it wasn't so sad. Oh. This kid that had got these gloves, Jida A Rod Giambi, was a Make a Wish kid. And he went and got his Make-A-Wish to visit the Yankee locker room. And he got a signed jersey. He got, where is that jersey? It's home. It is safely at home. It's home, right? Okay. And he got the, the gloves. Jeter gave him his gloves. He's game used gloves. Cool. He's got a piece of some Yankee Stadium dirt on him. He slid. Uh, Giambi probably didn't slide. He never slid. Let's see how clean those are. Yeah, Giambi doesn't slide. And A-Rod's too well, pretty to what? slide. Too pretty to slide. No, he slid. Eh, there's a little dirt in him, but I like the dirt in him because that really shows his game use. Anyway, this kid was a Make-A-Wish kid. And uh, he got all this uh, swag from the Yankees on his Make-A-Wish because he had lymphoma. And I guess he was, you know, didn't have a very good... Uh, prognosis, but he survived. And then so one day. So that's a happy story. Uh, Why are you saying it's not a happy story? Yeah, he turned out to be kind of a, you know. Uh, so he survived and came here one day and sold me this stuff. So that's that's cool. We do sports stuff. I, you know, I, I like the Yankees. I'm a Yankee fan. I must admit. So I kind of keep these. But <laughs> you know, I might part with them. What do you think these are worth? Oh, please. I'm not selling them for that. They got, got real now. dirt on them. Real stadium dirt. Yeah, real stadium dirt. More than three. That's the, this is the kind of, this is one of the only things that is better dirty. No. Right? Yeah. You know, this is having this, this uh, what Balls do they call this? are not color? better dirty. Huh? Yeah, it's right, Robin Anthony? House, right? So this is a uh, this is something actually from my childhood sports related because my dad was a, a sports broadcaster and he was friends with Billy Cunningham and uh, so we were he was broadcasting uh, a Sixers game he did some basketball early on at CBS and I got to be a ball boy and they gave me a signed team you know, this is like a crap little fake ball. Tiny. It's not a real ball. But there you go, Julius Dr. J. Irving. Really nice signature. And I got this in person. So Ollie Johnson, Lionel Hollins. So it's legit. Uh, Andrew Tony. Uh, Certified. Yeah, it's bona fide. I'm bona fide. <laughs> Bonafide. And oh, there. there Daryl Dawkins was. Uh, did he pass away? I think he did. Did he? Chocolate Thunder. That's the guy that used to break all the the backboards. He was the that was his claim to fame. He was really strong. Anyway, he was uh, also drafted at a high school, so he was a kid, and he he talked to me. I remember talking to him. He's like seven feet tall, and he was as white as a doorway. You know, very strong. And he's like, listen, he's gonna hang around here. You gotta have a nickname. And he's like, oh, you're a Greek son? I'll call you the little Greek. All right, so I remember that. How much is that? Uh, again, I don't want to sell it, really. Uh, who else is on here? Why not? Mm, I don't know. This Because this is like, you know. I, I know it's nostalgic, personal, but I personal mean. Personal experience. 
But no, no, okay, so that right. was I didn't see Moses Malone on there. So that was before they got Moses and won the championship. So it's not from a championship team, right? Connolly. Back into Chuck Daly safekeeping. Chuck Daly? Oh, Chuck Daly, yeah, yeah. Chuck Daly. He was the coach. Yeah. Hall of Fame coach. That's for sure. Can I wear some of these books? What do you mean? What do you what is that face? He's a Hall of Fame coach. Yeah, he said, yeah. Thousands uh, of wins. Oh my god, yeah. No, I was agreeing. And said, yeah. and then he <laughs> won two championships with the uh, Pistons. Right? Yeah. All right. So, a couple of things that I wanted to show today. Uh, well, we could do we could do this these ones first. Okay. So, I did a deal with a with a guy who got these from the colorist. All right? So, these are called color guys. These are two sides, and they had to make them to the same size as the comic books. Because if you enlarge or shrink color, it changes. So they had to do a, a color guide the same size as the comic book. There's some uh, JSA stuff. Ooh, chess, Sharon. Ooh, chess. chess. Yes. Sharon wants to learn chess because we've been watching The Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit with that cool chick That's that good. super knows how to play chess. She super knows how to play chess. I have the same size anyway. hands as Jambi? Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. I do. If the glove fits, guilty. you're guilty. Alright, now so here's some Spider-Mans. So I got I think about seven, eight thousand pages of this stuff. And what I liked about it most in this deal was that there was there was a vellum overlays that had all the corrections. So what you got in the art, you know, it, it would be notes like minus CR plus DG, all that kind of the color codes. And it would, when when the color guides have those on the color guide, you know, on the surface, they look like crap. I don't like them. But what I liked about this deal was that it didn't have the notes and the corrections on it, and you got a nice, beautiful piece of color art. And you know what they say. What did they say? Chicks dig color. I don't know. I like color. Right? I mean, rainbows. I mean, uh, black and white like art collecting is is a mostly male sport. Well, I like you know? black and white too. I don't know if I agree with that, but yeah, but I mean, you know, most of the predominant colorists in the hobby are, are women. Uh, I don't know. It's like you I... know, most of the girls that are in Artist Alley are are color artists. You know, they're not they're not doing black and white. There's been some breakthrough. Uh, um, uh, girls lately, but in the tradition of comics, uh, you know, there wasn't a, a, a lot of female artists. There was Marie Severin, there was uh, Ramona Freyden that I love, and jeez, uh, you know, there's Jan Dersima that we met at the Kubert School last she weekend. She was awesome. Yeah, she was awesome. Uh, I did an interview with her. Maybe you can find that and pull that up. We did a nice interview together at the... Uh, so, I thought these were cool because it would be, uh, you know... An, Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, $35! I like, you know, in the diversity that is my business, we're going to refer to it from here on out as the diversity. Um, Lots of stuff to choose from. You know, from. This, is, this, is, this is a good price point. You know, yeah. $20 to $40. I mean, one with Spider-Man, like, kicking Dragon Man's butt. I don't know if that's Dragon Man. I can't see his I head. I would buy these and frame them and put them in my kids' rooms, you know? Right? Yeah. I mean, it's low cost uh, and that's actual art. I mean, look at this. Look at the shading in that and stuff like that. There's a lot of work that went into these. So, and then there was a lot of money that went into a seven, 8,000 piece deal. So, uh, oh, here's an example. Here's an example. Woo! Here's one with, look at all these corrections. Now, when I was a photographer, I, I tried to print my own color work, and it's hard because you got to make all these kind of corrections on a, on a color print, and it's just this is what I mean by it doesn't look good. I don't like these with they have all the uh, the corrections on the page. That, I think that makes it interesting. Well, it can make it interesting it to some people. Ooh, look at this Avengers 375. 
That's good. Those I think are it, funny it shoes. Help people appreciate think, all the work uh, that goes into comics. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, nice vision. All right. So I just wanted to talk about that and say, hey, you know, I didn't just clog up the system uh, uh, with with these, you know, because I put them put them out as like if if it was John Romita page or John Buscema or Sal Buscema page, you got to put it out. You know, it's, it's a Sal Buscema page, and a lot of people that like have hit me up on these that have the original black and white page and then they want the color page. So it makes a great companion piece for 40 bucks. You know, you frame them together. Yeah. I mean, I used to like, when I had a ton of covers, I'd get the comic book cover and when our living room was full of covers, covers and value, uh, I would frame them together. So you had the black and white piece and you had the color published piece. So, I mentioned that we went to the Kubert School and that uh, this was a deal that as uh, Mr. Mark Anthony, uh, the new owner of the school, was cleaning out stuff, I, I got I got this <laughs> sign in the deal. Uh, you know, I, Joe never touched that, but it's based on his artwork. And these were cool. These were, I like these because these were, Joe Kubert had a business of doing manuals, and then he was super famous for being like the greatest war art, you know, war comics artist, you know, in history, everybody's favorite. So these were his reference binders for 50 cal machine gun, uh, mine resistant, ambush protected. Uh, here's a super Humvee, you know, when they, all the IEDs were crippling guys, they built them so that they would take a blast better. Here's one that would, you know, so, and then so that's this, his library yeah, this is from art. his library, uh, you know, before the internet, he, you know, put these together, uh, and uh, the, they were his reference uh, binders. This one is super cool because this is tanks, everybody's favorite, tanks, 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 and more tanks. <laughs> I love tanks. I built tanks when I was a kid. Oh, look at that one. What is that? That's the M1 Abrams? What does that say? Re I, refer I M1, know. yeah, M1 Abrams, yeah. I, I just... Oh, look at this lineup of tanks, and they're I like... I prefer color. Doing maneuvers. What do you mean? You like color? Yeah. Rainbows so, and stuff. Oh, look at this. <laughs> and the M1 Abrams is pretty famous for its, uh, its uh, uh, survivability. I mean, very, 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 very few uh, M1s have actually been knocked out in combat. Uh, I think at Desert Storm, like we only lost one tank or something like that. I could be wrong, but and that and they drove off a bridge. Oh. Uh, but if I uh, yeah, had an accident, I think I had heard. Anyway, so the Joe Kubert School. I uh, I talked to Anthony today. We're going to do a walking tour of the school Yay! on video, and we're going to yeah. Uh, well, we got to figure that out. I'm but excited then, about that. Uh, that's something we're probably not going to do live. We're going to probably shoot it and and then post it. And uh, you know, it'll be a good commercial for is uh, for the school. Maybe we'll make another commercial. Uh, we are a mini production company here with uh, me as executive producer <laughs> and Andrew Fugney and Andrew awesome. as camera. Gaffer, uh, what else? Uh, Everything. Editor. Everything. Graphics. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome. All right, so, oh, yeah, now. Now we get to. What you got here? Oh, uh, we got. Uh, just to borrow, a, borrow a, a phrase from my friend. Well, not. Is that a Christmas present? Yeah, it is. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, Poison Ivy. Sharon's favorite character, Poison Ivy, because she grew up around uh, her dad that was a plant pathologist, so yes. plants were a big part of her. My everyday life. Yeah, and then he, he had a whole farm that they studied the... The effects of air pollution on plants. Yeah. So Thanks that's her favorite character. And, uh, and that was from Fernando that I bought at the, he's a teacher at the school. 
And uh, again, you know, we're just going to get something done for them at the school. And she's got a Venus fly trappy. Venus fly trap. <laughs> That's not I all love it. she's gonna trap with her Venus. Uh, okay. I love it. Thank you, honey. Oh, you're welcome. You can pay me later. You gotta wrap it. All right. So. So secret, what else? Any secret, other surprises? Secret I want stash. more surprises. All right. Here it is. Here it is. There we go. I keep showing this, but I hadn't Ooh. put it out yet. So out of my secret stash portfolio, I gotta get uh, rights to using the secret stash term from Kevin. But he called me his friend uh, at the Baltimore uh, Comic Con uh, promo. So my friend Anthony. All right, so I gotta get that on tape. <laughs> yeah. So. We have this as my secret stash pull of the day. It's a page from What If, number three. And I think it was What If the Avengers Never Existed. And we have an old style uh, Iron Man and Rick Jones and the Hulk. And I think it's Gil Kane and Klaus Janssen. That's what it looks like by my eye. And uh, I'm going to put this out for... Strong, 4,500, 4,500, we're gonna put that out. So that's our really nice page of the day that we're pulling out of the secret it's stash. awesome. And uh, an offering to our devoted following. Our devotees. Sup, sup my man, don't shoot him. No, no camera. No. He's camera shy. <laughs> and then, then they'll uh, come get him when they see him. <laughs> All right. So that that pretty much covers what I wanted to go over today. And Sharon, did you have anything to add? <laughs> let's see. You said yeah. I need to talk to you more. So let's talk about. Oh, you got a pair of gloves. We got Jita gloves that he slid into second with probably. Yeah. And you got a Giambi. Giambi. I like Giambi. I mean, uh, when I mean, I like this team. And then Aroid, he's famous now for being J Lo's hubby. Oh, there you can see that. Yep. I didn't even see that. And being a guest uh, guest shark on and on the Shark Tank. Anyway, so that's uh, that's what we that's got today. It. And uh, I wanted to just go over the diversity. And I'm Anthony Snyder from Anthony's Comic Book Art, and here's my 5% owner, Sharon. Hello. Goodbye, right? <laughs> Is it time to say goodbye? Yes. Okay. So keep calm and, and keep, keep collecting. collecting.